What's going on, gorillas? It's Dark Shard of the YouTube Assassin, and we're continuing our playthrough of Far Cry 6. Again, this has been a really awesome game. Pretty wild ride, and right now we're looking for the uh, legends here. We're looking for El Tigre, which is just hilarious. I don't know why he would name himself the Tiger, but it is what it is. We're going to be playing through it. And right now, we are along the mountain side. He has his hidden base in this mountain area. And what we're going to do is head out there to see him. First, we have to, like, really get out there and, and, and find this guy. So, we'll see what this entails. Every time we're moving, he keeps giving us some new information as to how to find them. But we're going to keep it climbing. Going to keep it moving. A lot of interesting things here. I also found a lot of weird spots where you really couldn't, like, climb. It's, like, weird. You, you have to kind of get it just right if you want to get the climb. Very strange. So I don't know if it's because this person is in the way. But I'll get out the way here. Again, really weird. A lot of little like side areas, a lot of places for you to really mess up and fall off. There we go, climbing. And one of the things I don't understand is like, how did this guy in this whole camp get here? To me, that was really weird. I have an uncle that used to play video games and he used to tell me all the time like he doesn't understand how you have a level if the boss himself can't even get through. That's absolutely strange. If the boss can't get through his own level there's there's a serious problem. So in this case he's you know obviously he's a boss but it's more like he's he's the boss of the uh, group, not an enemy boss. Still really weird. And really confusing, this place. Really, <laughs> I know you gotta like run around, you gotta like jump around, but... Some of these places are really wild. So besides playing this, I've actually started playing some of the other Far Cries as well. Um, my goal is to kind of showcase everything that they've got going on here. Showcase like all the different endings, all the different versions of it. Try to put a timeline together. I really do feel like we, we need a timeline here. I really do feel like it will be relevant, especially since we're going to have all these other characters from other Far Cry games show up. And I really do feel like that's going to be important. We're going to get to a point where we're going to see all the bad guys and we're going to be like, oh my god. Some kind of bad guy convention. Yeah, see, this is where this gets, like, kind of weird. Yep, look at that. Death. That's one of the things that, like, really aggravates me is, like, you're trying to figure out where to go and how to go. And, uh, you know, it is easy to, like, get killed anywhere in this game. That's the only aggravating thing, honestly. I really do enjoy playing the game, though. And have you guys seen the Easter eggs? There are a lot of Easter eggs kind of pitting the, you know, all the Far Cries together with each other. And then there's also the uh, different video games that are part of uh, Ubisoft's family, part of their IPs that you'll see. And it's, it's pretty wild. A lot of Assassin's Creed references. I haven't found any Watch Dogs references here. 
I still want to figure out the whole timeline thing because, again, I just find it strange that you went from Far Cry 5 to, you know, New Dawn. You had a nuclear apocalypse and then all of a sudden, you know, like we're here and like none, none of it happened. So was New Dawn a, a dream sequence or what was going on? I'm going to have to play through it all. I mean, there's going to be obvious ones like, you know, Far Cry Primal. Like, obviously that took place in the past. Has nothing to do with, like, you know, anything really. But I, I still want to take a look at it. I'm really appreciating these games. I, I really get a kick out of them. Almost there, it looks like. Almost to the top. Which would be fantastic. A lot of deer here. These things kill me. You actually have to shoot the netting so that it drops that whole thing. Which I think is fantastic. It's pretty wild in my opinion. So now, almost there. There we go. Send me another picture. Send me another picture so I know where you're at, buddy. I like the swinging. I actually do enjoy like the mechanics of this game. Not gonna lie. There are a lot of fun things that you're doing here. And I should be almost there. I'm wondering what significance the levels have here. Like you don't really have like a skill tree. So I'm wondering like what all the levels are for. Just to rank you up, just to make you feel as if you're accomplishing something, I don't know. Yeah, I'm still wearing the Assassin's Creed hood. There he is. Muscle Grandpa. What the hell? You're trapped. Death is staring you in the face. What do you do? <laughs> I've been kicking the cojones a thousand times. I haven't felt them since hmm. 72. Hey! Go! Oh. do that again! What? Me castle to casa, baby tigre. Come on! Me Don't like hugs. Lucky! My nose is broke again! I'm not your fucking mother. There are people out there who are actually hurt. I am suffering. I easy mama. Herpes doesn't count. <laughs> I love the names of the characters. Poet of the legends. Well, I sense the hot blood of a fighter. And of course you know Lucky Mama, heart of the legends. It's not broken. Really? I thought it'd go crazy. Another patient? Looks like La Morale to me. I'm Danny Rojas from Libertad. La Morale? The new fist of the revolution. No, Clara sent me. Libertad needs the legends on her side. Heroes to believe it. To fight another Castillo? There's like so many factions in here. That's crazy. Sorry, one revolution is enough. Looks like Clara was wrong. Have faith, Danny. They just need to get to know you. Come see me when you get settled. My baby tigre. So they don't even want to be part of this revolution. Mm -hmm. 
I don't know why I was running so slow there. Really weird. Come here. No more hearts and promises. Clara, I've met. At the ledge of mine. Love the little notes they keep all around the place. Sometimes you find some like really wild information that you didn't even think you would see. I just hope they still want to be here. No, no. Castillo's propaganda. Ah. Steel. That's fucked up. Yeah. I mean, we're calling Castillo a big thing. You look a little messy. What is all this? That's the DLC thing, which is like really weird. Oh, Domino's. Nice to have a new face at the Man. <laughs> I used to love playing Domino's. I actually, I'm pretty good at it. However, in-game Domino's, I don't know. I don't know. I'd love to see. I'm about to find out how they play it. Oh, uh, they, they rolled to see who went first. That was pretty good. That's accurate. It was really weird. I'll, I'll play what the computer tells me to play. See how that works out. They've got some interesting moves. How you like that? Yeah, the whole point of dominoes is to play end to end the same values or like if you see the thing turned, it's basically because you that's the domino that can be on both sides. Like, it, it, you've got six, so you could lay it sideways rather than... I love that they pass and they tap the table. Like, that's, that's really, like, accurate. Slamming it, it makes no sense, though, so early in the game. I can't. I got nothing. Yeah, they collect the ten tiles. They, basically, you're making a snake. When you have one that can really... Right, just to save room on the on the table, like you see the sixes, I can't. you can move the sixes so that that way you have more room. So you put it sideways. Somebody else is gonna put a six on the side anyway. That's how you do it. I pass. I pass. That's just really wild to see it in a game. Nothing. Highly unusual. Well, I'll get you next time. You showed me. Well, I lost. I'm a winner. Yeah, whatever, whatever you have left, you tally up the points, and and that's what you've got. Ready? Take your time. I got all day to beat you. Let me see. Let me try this again. I'll try it one more time. I see doubt in your eyes. <laughs> Just very funny to me that they that they put this in the game. Like this is something that seriously, like my family will like do. We'll get together and, and, you know, sometimes they'll play cards. Sometimes they'll actually do this. They'll, they'll play Stay dominoes. And it'll be a lot of fun. You're in trouble now. Don't get you know, it's nice when games kind of like do this. Like Red Dead Redemption had, uh, they, they have like the different card games. They have the different dice games. Those are pretty cool. I really do enjoy seeing stuff yeah, like that. There we go, more and more. I really do get a kick out of this. This is so funny to be seeing. Yeah, I think Red Dead Redemption was actually my first interaction with a video game that had 
like a real world outside game in it. And I thought that that was just absolutely amazing. Who's the best? See, that slam on the table, that made no sense. Like, There's another game that just recently came out, and I'm trying to think of the name of it. It's a game made by Sega, and in the game, they literally have a, uh, I lost again. They literally have a bunch of old Master System games on it, and I thought that that was absolutely amazing. Oh, they've got the construction places too. Look at this. All right, so I could only pick from the other four, which is wild. I guess they do that because they don't want you getting, you know, like, I guess spending way too much or something. I don't know. That's kind of weird. It's kind of cool, but it's kind of weird at the same time. And behind the scenes, I've been doing like so many of these like side missions and everything. So, of course, I'm going to have a ton of materials to use. So I'm going to just have like an army of, of crap to just use here. Look at this. Wow. Yeah, I had I had so much material and everything like that. It wasn't even funny. So now look at this. I could upgrade them. I bought the two of them. I could upgrade them now like crazy. What's really annoying though is uh they put you right next to them directly. Like once you fix the area, once you fix the thing, it puts you right back. It puts you right back in front of them, and that, that just... That gets annoying. But we'll see what happens. Hmm. I'd love to see what the lodges do. So Bandito Barracks seem to have given me some kind of bandito thing. Let me see if I'm able to like recruit or something maybe. I don't know. And in the hunting lodge of course. Look at they're showing me new hunting spots. That's actually pretty cool. Got a new shotgun. That's cool too. And what do we got for rank three? Hunter's Guide. Huh. And a sniper rifle. That's nice. So let's see. Let's see what we get at these barracks. Oh, we gave an animal my enemy guy too. That's pretty wild. Doesn't look like we get anything really, at least not yet. Primal Boots. Oh, so for the animals that I've already killed, I could actually collect armor for that's pretty cool these two i haven't killed the animals yet um this shows me where i could get the animals which i might need for like other things we'll see and then the mythical creatures all right so i'll get those guys too and then i guess once i kill those last two i could get those things That makes sense. Oh, a special customer. Do you like funeral arc? Hmm. Have to run around some more. Like again, behind the scenes, kind of get those uh, other animals, take them out, give them a beatdown. Probably collect that armor. 
I honestly like every one of these videos that you guys see it they are pretty cool but um it's mostly things that like I'm doing in the foreground so when you see me play the game it's like real time in the background I'm looking for like all kinds of other things and whatnot I'm looking for uh outposts and stuff to liberate that's that's basically what I'm doing there which is pretty wild it is it is fun like doing all those things in the background collecting the uh vehicles the weapons opening treasure boxes that way you guys aren't bored seeing me like do all kinds of stuff i will put out videos showing you like how to do the cryptogram treasure chests and you know like how to get certain treasures that are really really hard so you gotta get over there that's not even that far and then let me just know what you guys want to see like if you have a specific question if you have anything that's really bothering you that you're not able to get through and i'll try to get through it for you put up a video give you a shout out and then show you how to do it here's a helio chopper let's get in there get over here see what the uh, thing is that we're doing here Supposed to be recovering these supplies for El Tigre and his crew. We're working on it. He said the dude needs a nap. Here we go, the supply depot. Gonna take these guys out. Steal that stuff. This looks like they drop. What a mess. This is too easy. Que vola. Who are you? La moral. Who the hell are you? Este is our land. Our land, our medicine. You practice that little speech. Yeah. This is property of libertad. Ah, libertad. Knew you would come mm -hmm. begging for our help. We should be fighting Castillo together. I'm Honron, second in command. I've never heard of a, a name like that. Damn, she wasn't playing. Name's Danny. Danny Rojas. Uh huh. Company! Over there! By the chopper! Got her up! Freaking weirdo lady. What the hell are you doing? Alright, so I gotta protect these supplies. Take out some soldiers. In the background, I gotta like mess around and see what else I could do with like some of these weapons, make them stronger. Even though that's pretty strong, look at that. Was just bouncing. Where do we got more? Throw all over the place. Look at this. I kind of feel like they just like appear out of nowhere sometimes. I really do. I feel like the computer just drops them. Because sometimes, like, it, you'll just see. And there's no explanation. I mean, in some of the buildings, there's plenty of explanation because, you know, you'll see elevators that are opening and closing, or you'll hear them. You won't even see them, but you know that they're there. 
Man. This guy's just still flying. I don't know where that dude was throwing a grenade at. I also want to see if I can find a easier way of obtaining supplies. Supplies are really hard to come by. Ooh, look at this guy. Yeah, I've seen people parachute in here. That's hilarious. So they take you down. I don't want to just stay stuck there. Look at this one. I don't know what she was shooting at. Damn. A lot of these hits look crazy. A lot of times when you see like the gunshots and whatnot, it looks real nuts. Oh, they're going to go through the front door. Get you, get you. Driver fell out. Let's pick you up. Let's get the rest of these guys. Keep getting ready to accidentally shoot the good guys. I'm so trigger happy here. Where are the rest of you? There we go, down you go. This material. Take out this helicopter because, of course, these things are going to annoy me. And I'd rather use these mounted turrets rather than use my own uh, bullets or rockets. These helicopters and stuff, when you shoot them out of the sky, they like fall like real quick. They don't even make like a some sort of semi-effort. Kind of like, you know, that they're, they're, the guy is fighting or anything like that. It's like the guy just gave up. He just gave up. He was just like, the hell with it. I'm just going to die. I'm not even going to try to fight this helicopter. You get a bullet. You get a bullet. Everybody gets a bullet. Wanted to make sure that dude was dead. Alright, so they're all dead, now what? You've got talent, Libertad. But Yelena needs these supplies. You got wounded. Yelena's your boss? Hmm. Yeah. She's gonna kick my ass if I don't come back with something. Well, Clara's gonna try to kick mine if I don't bring this to the Legends. Libertad wants the Legends of 67? Half of Yara thinks they're dead. Oh, they're very alive. And half of La Moral thinks they're full of shit. But I majored in history. Mm -hmm. They paid him blood to put Anton's papa in his grave. Tell you what, you give me these supplies, I'll introduce you. Ah, coño, Yelena's gonna kill me. But at least I got to meet the legends first. Now, Lani, you get us a chopper, then we can talk supplies. Welcome to La Moral. Libertad. This lady is just sick. She's just running around in a sports bra, her red hair. Just like she's ready for some baseball. Hmm. Now the goal is to get a helicopter. And there's only three spots where I could get those helicopters. Because they're not going to let me warp all the way back over there. It'll ruin the mission. Not really that it ruins the mission, but they do that purposely so that you cannot... Uh, you know, make it easy on yourself. They want you playing the game. Which I could see and I, I get. I get that. 
but man, does that suck. So we'll get a horse and we'll ride out to one of these locations and come back to it. Come back to them, help them out, get them out of there, and then we'll see what happens. Let's see, is that the shortest route? Yeah, that's the shortest route. Okay. This is going to be the closest thing. And they give you several of them, too. That That's actually pretty hilarious. That they give you several options. Just in case. They really want you to, like, put in a lot of work into this game. That's that's the whole thing, is that, like, these video game companies, uh, you know, they, they want you to play for a while. It helps with their metrics. It helps their stockholders to believe that they created such a great product that people are continuously playing it. And I think that it's absolutely hysterical that some people who have kind of given up, who haven't beaten the game, who went on to play other games or whatever, or maybe, you know, start playing it and you were like, ah, it's not really my thing, I'll play it little by little. If you've been off this game for a little bit, you will get a letter from the president from Castillo and he'll basically tell you things like, you know, I'm, I'm disappointed in you and he'll give you stats. He'll show you how many enemies you've killed, how many cars you've blown up, things like that. And I think that that is just hilarious to kind of get you back into the game. Like, he's not overly disparaging. He's not, you know, like, going into detail. Like, you know, you suck, you're terrible, you know, you're a clown, I knew I could defeat you. Nothing like that. It's all a bunch of, you know, like, sort of like, uh, you know, like, I, I, I'm disappointed in you. You should do better than this. And then he'll give you, like, your stats. That's it. That's the extent of, of the disparity, if you could even call it that. But I think that that's a genius move. I think it's really funny. And I think that it'll kind of get you to want to jump back in because you kind of feel some type of way. I don't know. I, I'm having fun with this game, honestly. I really do enjoy the game. I haven't really found anything that was too over the top or aggravating. I think, once again, the story is great. The, uh, you know, the gameplay is, is fantastic. The sound and the music is, is pretty awesome. And I remember seeing uh, somebody have reviewed this, and they just feel like it's a, a cookie-cutter thing because that's what all the Far Cries are basically to him. Basically, every single Far Cry is a... It is you play a soldier or something and you're out to battle some sort of regime, some sort of dictator, some sort of nut job, defeat them, and that's the game. You know, and then this, this uh, person who had reviewed it had also said they didn't understand anything about why it would be Far Cry 6 if at the end of Far Cry 5, you know, the ending happened. It doesn't make sense that they would make six because it, it would leave no room for six, basically. And I, I think that's a valid argument, honestly. I could see where he would make that, where he would say something like that. Because that does kind of make sense. But at the same time, you know, that that's, again, one of the other reasons why I really, really want to get into uh, playing through the games and seeing what's what, seeing if there is a timeline. Alright, so I got my helicopter, got these guys. Load it up, see if they'll help. Hopefully the legends will actually help instead of just being themselves, like not wanting to participate in this revolution. Revolution. 
You gotta sign my pants. <laughs> you gotta sign my pants. <laughs> I'm with La Moral. La <laughs> Moral. He actually did it. I know who he is. I think the word he's looking for is guerrilla. You're not guerrillas. You're a street gang. At least we're not hiding on the mountain while the world goes to shit. Have you seen what's going on down there? Go check out a Bio Vida facility. Huh. I dare you. The legends don't take orders from anarchists. Entiende? Enough, Lorenzo. No, you know what? Fuck you. La Moral is keeping these supplies. This is our revolution, not yours. A farmer got caught in the crossfire today. Took a bullet in the stomach. Without this, he won't make it to tomorrow. Lucky mama. A lot of the bullets I pull are from La Moral. There is a difference between playing. So what are these people doing? They're blaming her group, but they're fighting. They're the ones that are fighting. Like why why aren't the legends fighting? Talk to me when you got a minute. And isn't any act of rebellion considered some sort of act of terrorism? Like, he's calling them terrorists, but they're literally fighting to get their lands back and whatnot. So why would they be considered terrorists? To think I looked up to these ancianos. Don't waste your time. We're freeing El Este with or without them. You need to talk to my boss, Yelena. And you need to see our operation up close. So in Bahia, oh. is La Moral's badass headquarters in Concepcion. Uh, so she's trying to kidnap Danny now. Well, not kidnap him, but kind of sway him to join their cause. I'll tell Yelena you're on your way. Being that the uh, Legends of 67 seem to be just washed up. They don't want any part of the revolution. They don't really seem to want to do anything, really. They seem to want to just live their lives peacefully on the mountain, out of the way of everyone. And we're going to fast forward through this because this is a long helicopter flight. And it gets really, really annoying. Like, I just saved you like two minutes of me flying, honestly. There we go, now we're close. Where you at? Getting close, I think. So you know, Helena's the big boss. I'm hmm. team captain, and you won't be able to miss Gilberto. Why? Who's Gilberto? Only the most fabulous spying on Uyara. You can't even fart in El Este without Gilberto's network hearing about it. Spies and hackers. La moral sounds like the real huh. Oh, there goes that helicopter. Got a curfew. I'm ending it. Uh oh. Or I'm not. Oof. Thought I was going to bite that one. Now I gotta find these people. No, well, either way, we're gonna see what we have to do in order to like get in these people's side as well. Where the heck is this thing? We gotta find their hideout first. It just feels like it should be somewhere around here. Can't go through this grate. If you look around, there's like a lot of like little hidden areas and stuff like that. Little secret spots that you've got to go through that you may not know exist. And I think that that's kind of cool, you know, like because you really have to pay attention to detail if 
you want to be able to like complete this game. I'm telling you, this game is just sick. It's it's absolutely amazing. I really haven't had any problems with this game. I know some people um, have been saying that they've either had problems with the game, uh, sometimes with crashes, and some people really aren't happy with the game itself. They feel like, you know, it, it really isn't worth what they paid for it. Like, it's really not what they expected. I kind of feel like, you know, in some cases it's a fair assessment, especially if you haven't played a Far Cry 6 game. I think that a lot of people who have next-gen consoles, that they're looking for things to play, so they'll just scoop up certain things on, uh, you know, for the next-gen console just because, you know, they, they want a reason to spend money on, on their new console. Like, I have this for my PS5. That's what I'm playing on right now. So, you know, it, it's... It, if I can buy it on a PS5, I will. Oh, I found the uh, spot. Or the Xbox Series X. I definitely will. If it's something that's, you know, the last gen only, uh, I, I've got no problem with that either. I know a lot of people are mad they don't want certain games to be, uh, you know, like cross-gen. Just because they, they really want to see their machines flex. And uh, again, that's something else that I get. Now, time to find this Yelena person. Get her help. She looks like my sister in law. Danny, right? Where's my medicine? You mean Libertas meds? I gave them to the legends. No, you handed it to some retirees shitting their diapers on top of a mountain. What could you possibly want from them? Damn, she's rude. need more than bullets and guerrillas to take down Castillo. Like it or not, Yaranos love the legends. Clara Garcia loves her politics. Good luck getting those abuelos off their asses. We could use Lamarao's help. You know why Clara never told you about us? Because to her, we're just a bunch of kids playing with guns. She loves to talk about the future. <laughs> what is her future, not ours? Clara's just a Castillo who lost his dick. So you have a better plan for Yara? Bullets first, politics later. You said you needed volunteers. Admiral Benitez got the jump on us a couple of hours ago. She's holding my people hostage on a cargo ship. I'll go. Alone? I don't get it. Consider us even for the meds. Save my people, then I'll think about it. Mm -hmm. All right, so now I have to go on a rescue mission, huh? Got to save some people. For real? Libertad? No, this no guy's shit. gonna take me along, I guess. People, right? He's gonna show me where I'm going. I know a farmer with a helicopter. Well, now I let's see. <clears throat> Alright, so he's gonna take me to this helicopter that's supposed to take me to this ship where I can free hostages, which are really Yelena's people. Horse pick up point. Alright, let's see. I am. I think it will be great. Where are you going? So He's like, hey, where are you going? I'm following you, fool. Yeah. We've been fighting and we've been winning. But I'll meet our Benitez will always have fun. Where are you going? So yeah. Every time he pulls ahead, he's like, Where are you going? Well, soldiers get paid, like, civilians really don't 
Plus, you guys aren't fighters. You guys are farmers, it sounds like. Damn, it ended up disparaging the, uh, the legends here. Wait, you want me to ride in a helicopter that was built from parts of other helicopters that you shot down? Is that where I'm at? Is that going to be a good idea? I don't think so. He wants me in this helicopter. What if this thing falls apart? Don't get me killed, bro. Take me to this boat, but don't kill me. I'm going to be careful and stay low. I'll get you as close as I can. Where did you learn how to fly? I did my basic service as a pilot a couple of years ago. I got kicked out for calling the captain a come mierda. <laughs> I was kicked out of the ground forces. Turns out drill sergeants don't like getting punched in the throat. Good to know. <laughs> the banter these guys have. When did you go to Moral? <laughs> Wait. I was told you were with La Moral. I'm doing this rescue as a favor. I'm with Liberta. What can you tell me about La Moral? Yeah, what about them? You know that village? They call it Maldito. That's the real name? Yeah. Some Spaniard named it back in 1490, whatever. Couple months ago. Admiral Benitez decided to make it illegal to go to the water and fish. The people protested. Benitez executed half the town. Oh, snap. And what does La Moral do? They tracked and killed every last soldado who did the executing. And I'm not talking about guerrilla ambush jungle shit. I'm talking about following them to their homes and slitting their throats while their families are slept. Oh, damn. Like it. Damn, you don't want to mess with them. You do some like nasty stuff. Look at that. Follow all those soldiers and like slit their throats and everything. That is terrible. Man. So this is a group that I'm going to get involved in? I can't get you any closer. This is great. Gracias, mi amigo. They're like crazy murderers for no reason. Well, there's the boat. Let's fly over there. Parachute. Mermanx. Look at this one, having a conversation on her phone. And dead. Turn off the alarm. Although I don't know that the alarm would have other planes and helicopters coming. Might. Might not. I want to sneak around as much as possible and get rid of as many people as possible. What? Find Yelena's people. Get the heck out of here. No muss, no fuss, no death. It's got a couple of silos and everything just in case I gotta make a quick getaway. Oh, there's people in that crate. That's messed up.
Gotta get them out of there. Should disable the alarm. There goes the other alarm. See if I can get the rest of these guys. Oh, damn, I just killed one of her people. That is foul. I can't believe I did that. Well, she looked like a soldier, she looked like she was coming right for me. Stupid. Got killed there. Okay. Careful, Danny. What's up, buddy? Materials and whatnot. Get these guys taken out. Wonder if I'll need the helicopter. Uh, probably not. What I really want to do is I want to uh, save these people. Are you just chilling? How this one didn't see me until just now? You up. Find the rest of their people and take out the rest of the soldiers. Man. Machete takedowns are real brutal. This guy working on the thing again. Let's take him out. I love how, like, none of them are hearing me at all. I'm just going with the flow here. There we go, take this guy out. Hit this. Oh, I think that's lowering everybody that was trapped in the box down. That makes a lot of sense. There we go, take you down. Oop. Three to two use. I love that they just gun butt you. Alright, let's take a look around. Get these last little stragglers here. Oh, that's everybody. <clears throat> now to uh, get the rest of those people out of that container. Man, I wanted to shoot her again by accident. Love how they stand in my way too. All right, let's go. Where are they? 
are in that hole, so let's see if we could go down through here. Yep, here we go. Alright, so we'll blast that lock and pull them out. I'm on the ship. I freed as many as I could. Hang tight. I am sending boats and back up. Gracias. This is right, she's got an extraction for us. To the fake terroristas, I have you right where I want you. At oh, this boy. very minute, military forces are heading to your position. I recommend laying down your weapons and taking one last look at a nation that does not want you. Damn, she's foul. Serving Yara as outcasts, you will die. Right here. Right now. All right. Well, right now is a good time to get in this helicopter. See, so yeah, I'm a much better helicopter pilot than I am a plane car. We'll fast forward this so that we could take out these planes. This is a long dogfight. Battling all these people for no reason. There we go. Take that dude out. Damn. That guy was good. Alright. So we take them out. Now what? We should use the escape boats to get to shore. Okay. All right, well there they go. They still don't have any everybody from like their. Oh my God, these people are jumping in the water. They still don't have all their guys. Those guys jumped in the water to escape. All right, so I guess I gotta protect these guys from enemies. That's what it looks like. Yep, let's take these boats out. One thing I hate about this game is that like bullets and missiles go quicker and take longer to restore than anything else. There we go, take that guy out. Now somebody behind them is shooting. Oh, they made it to the beach. I'll use my powers up here for good. Take out the rest of you fools. There we go. Mess all you people up. Leave them alone. There we go. Let's see what else they got. Yelena. Well, they're all freed. So, I think that's it for this video. Alright guys, uh, join me tomorrow when I play some more of it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please make sure to like and subscribe. It helps this channel out an awful lot. As always, I want to thank each and every one of you for watching. Until next time, take care, be good, stay safe, take care of each other. I'll see you guys all in the next one. And just let this roll out. We'll just see what else, uh, what other dialogue they have. But that's it for me today, guys. Thank you. Maybe it's the pills? No, it can't be. Juan? Who is this? It's Danny, Juan. Who? Danny! Danny! Do you need something? You called me. Not possible in my current state. But I'm glad you reached out. Meet me on Libertad Island immediately. Yep. Yeah. Why? What? Shit. <sighs>